Welcome back everybody, Just Mike here. Today we have a different clock to work on. We're not necessarily going to work on it, but we need to clean it. It's a globe clock. It has three clocks and a thermometer on it. And I need to take this thing apart because it's just absolutely dirty, I guess. Anyway, let me show you what I have here. So this is the clock. It measures approximately, I'm going to say 11 inches at least, maybe a little more tall. And approximately 8 inches across. Now when they advertise these clocks, they call them a ro rotating clock. This is the only rotation they have. You have to use your hand, which is no biggie, but... You would think that maybe this rotates on its own, or you think this rotates on its own. No, it's all done by hand. This is a beautiful clock, or the, the globe. Let me show you a little bit closer here. So I don't know if it's uh, gold threads that are in here or what, but it's really nicely done. And I don't know what this is made of, it does look like it's got mother of pearl. I think they call that in there because you do have glossy spots on here. And very well done as far as I'm concerned. This here clock weighs almost 11 pounds. This is 10 pounds, 72 ounces. And this clock, the little clocks down here, it has three of them. That's the barometer, or temperature, has three of them. And I went ahead and popped them out. You can put a little screwdriver in here, or, or possibly your fingernail. It's just like a watch does have the nice with well, it I'm gonna call them diamonds they're not diamonds but around at least on this one other ones don't have this some of them have just the regular uh, American numerals that kind of stuff so it depends on which one you get but out of three of them taking them to a clock shop to replace the batteries it used to be $6 a piece to have the batteries changed. Now it's up to $11. Anyway, the temperature for the Americans, you'd have to look at the inner temperature. Otherwise, I do believe this is Celsius on the outside there. So to take this clock apart, you would unscrew, well, I'll call it the nut, I guess, on top. This is if you're going to deep clean it. Now the globe just lifts right off of here. Isn't that pretty? And it's very shiny, so you can clean this up really nice. Now here, it depends on how far you want to go. I'm not going to go that deep, but you can take that nut out of, out of the center here. And all this is going to slowly come apart, and you're going to find bearings underneath this plate here. If it wasn't turning nicely... That's how you'd get in there to lube them or check them out and see what the problem is. So with that globe off, now I can actually clean this. You might be able to tell the old tarnish or whatever this is on here. And that includes these. They don't shine like they should because they're just dirty. So I'm going to try to clean them up. So here... 
I use this wax and polish and it didn't change too much. It cleaned it a little bit, but it didn't change too much. I mainly bought this for a wax after I'm done polishing it. I've got this that I'm polishing it with and that's more aggressive. And so you come over here and you see this is turned to silver again. These are silver. Look at that shine on that deck there compared to just wax. And this didn't clean off the film and everything. Look at that. I've done these two sections here. Look at these bars, how they shine. I haven't done this one yet. How beautiful of a clock is this once it's clean. So this is just with the polisher on there and now I need to let that mirror finish anyway now I need to go ahead and wax it and see if that's gonna keep it from uh, getting as dirty or whatever and maybe keep a shine on there So a good cleaning and waxing did the job on this clock and maybe that should get you thinking if you're getting tired of your clock try cleaning it, waxing it and enjoy your clock again. It'll be beautiful all over. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Just Mike here and let's see what kind of clock we're going to work on next time. Don't forget to subscribe because it's free give me a thumbs up if you don't mind it helps out I guess and if you appreciate the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi until next time God bless